This is n 2 lem with another quick video clip. We're going ahead and doing the firmware update to the FTDX10. And you're watching the firmware update just as we're doing it. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, right now it's just doing the main, the display, and the, um, the DSP. SDR was skipped and AF was skipped. Never done it before. It's a brand new radio from Gigaparts. And uh, basically formatted the SD card. Uh, then uh, went to the ASU website, downloaded the August 1st firmware update. Uh, it was in zip file, extracted it all to a folder. There you go, it's, power, it's, it's just powering up. That's it. So, that's the firmware update. So anyway, so, once again, uh, we took the uh, SD card, put it into the, put it right into the radio, press the function button, went in and selected extension settings, scroll down, formatted, took the card out, uh, hit back a couple of times, um, we downloaded the, um, the zip file and the information update file, which is a PDF, tells you exactly what to do. And this is dated uh, August 1st, 23. And as you see, the, th the, the new revisions is the, the main, the display, and the DSP. The SDR and the AF and uh, were last updated back in uh, uh, 20, version 01s. So now we're at uh, version 01.13 for the main, version 01-5 for the display, and version 01.20 for the uh, DSP. Improvements, support for USB, mouse wheel operation, support for individual TXRX scope level settings, Increased receiver IF bandwidth functions in CW and actually all the modes up to four, four, four thousand hertz, which is great. Added uh, uh, fifty steps in the per parameter to the MPVD steps per uh, reverse. Fixed memory channel list bugs. Fixed tuna indicator bugs. Fixed SD card operation bugs. Other improvements and op optimizations have been made. So it's, it was a pretty pretty heavy update and it went along um, absolutely perfect I don't have the antenna hooked up right now to in the shack because we're going through some severe weather so that's basically it um, send to LEN saying best seven threes on the firmware update for August 1st 2023 on the FTDX 10